Hey guys, what's up? It's Haley, also known as Jade. How are you doing? How's it going? Today we're doing a little story time video. I'm also trying on these um, 3D volume lashes by Kiss. They're like, like this. They were like 15 bucks. I already did half of my makeup in the first story time video. If you want to see what I did to do this, go ahead and check out the fast food with the horror story video. This video is going to be about like my fourth grade um, experience. Okay, so I'm going to call it like middle school disaster or something like that, but disasters, but let's just hop right into this. Okay, so I had a lot of stuff happening in fourth grade, y'all. Like, I don't know. Third grade was like peaceful, right? It's just, well... It wasn't completely peaceful, like, I remember a few things, but fourth grade really hit different, so, basically, I'm gonna do my eyebrows really quick, my eyelashes, basically, I got this cute little mascara, y'all, look how cute and beautiful this is, I don't know if y'all really understand the beauty, but, um, anyway, so, I'm getting kind of off track. There was this friend group I had. It was me, this boy who I had a crush on, this girl who I wanted to be my best friend, and then this other girl who had a crush on me. I did not know this girl had a crush on me, y'all. I was not, you know, bi or whatever in fourth grade. I didn't understand. I feel like that'd be, this would be cute some red in it. Anyway, I did not understand that girls you know, had crushes on each other at the time, and so, you know, she asked me to be her girlfriend, oh my god, and, you know, with my little unexperienced self, you know, I said yes, I said, okay, you know, you're my girlfriend, yeah, who's he, I didn't understand what it meant, y'all, like, I was oblivious to the situation, like, she was going around calling me a lesbian, y'all. Let's just put it straight. And, I mean, I guess I was because I was dating this girl by accident. Um, She asked me out. I thought, like, we were already girlfriends. You know, my aunt Sharon, she'd be like, oh, yeah, you know, girlfriend. And, like, like as in, like, your friends, you know, go out with your girlfriends. You know what I mean? But this girl, that's not what she meant. <laughs> she meant girlfriend. Like, you guys know what I mean. Some gay stuff, you know what I mean? And nothing against gay stuff. Like, I'm cool with it. But at the time, y'all, I was not gay. I like that dude. Like I had previously mentioned. And he was like... My best friend, right? And he was also friends with that girl who was my girlfriend. So when she asked me out, she told him, like, that I was a lesbian. And that we were dating. And I didn't really understand that, you know? It took me a couple of days, bro. It really did. Before I had to be like, oh. 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 And when I figured that out, y'all, I was, like, literally, like, shocked. And I was, like, kind of disgusted. And I was kind of, like, really sad because I knew my crush probably lost all interest in me. Just at that point, like, I don't think he had any interest in me to begin with. Because, like, we'd been friends, for a while so if he wanted to be with me this man would have already been with me little miss Haley did not understand this she did not get the concept so basically a few weeks later after the whole lesbian rumor about me goes around in fourth grade you know it's not really a rumor it's kind of true because like I dated her like 
And then when people ask me, like, did I date her, I would be like, you know, yeah, but I didn't really mean to. And I would kind of explain the situation. And it would, see, it would always seem a little bit confusing, like, to the other people, like, but anyway, I just wasn't, like, I didn't date a lot of boys either. I liked the one dude. So, people probably thought I was a lesbian for a while, but anyway. So. I told the guy that I liked him, but I didn't tell him straight up. And that was a big mistake. I wrote on a little piece of paper. I was like, I was like, I have a crush on you, you know, I have brown hair, brown eyes. Like a goofy, like a goofy head, bro. Like, I would never do this type of shit nowadays. But. I had sent him on a little search hunt, right? And, anyway. I put the note in his locker. He found it, and he immediately came to me with it, y'all. Because I was his friend. And I was too embarrassed to just admit that it was me. Which would have been a perfect time to admit, y'all. Like, it's me, like, duh. But no. I literally sat there with him, guessing who it could be, bro. Like an idiot. I was like, oh, it could be Samantha. It could be Rosalind. It could be Janisa. But no, it was over here being me, right? And I knew this the whole time, and I was acting a fool. And he figured that out eventually. And he got mad at me. He was kind of like, what the fuck? Like, why wouldn't you not just tell me? Like, duh. And I was kind of like, embarrassed about it. And... He was kind of mortified, I'm not going to lie. Like, I kind of creeped that boy out, I feel like, and it was a very sad, sad day for me, because, like, y'all, I really did like that boy. He was, like, my best friend. So, after that, like, I feel like he wanted to stop talking to me, and it was so sad for me, because he was, like, my best friend, y'all, like. But it's not like I hung out with him. I was in fourth grade, so. After I told him that I liked him, I probably seemed like a whole big old weirdo to everybody, I swear to God, because, I mean, I would look, I would look at this situation as an outsider, like, I'm a big old weirdo, too. If I was on the outside of the situation, like, I was a little too obsessed. This sis would, like, go home at night and, like, look up, like, love quotes and think she's, like, in love with somebody who, like, doesn't even like her back. So, you know, the wake-up call was needed. I'm not gonna lie. It was desperately needed, but, um, I wish I would have realized a little sooner, like, you know, he doesn't like you back, girl, like, and I wish I realized, I would have realized, like, it's okay, like, there's other boys. But no, I was kind of, like, stuck in my own little world. Okay. So, also, when I was in fourth grade, I did the talent show. Um... And I did War by Katy Perry. And when I did it, I had my great grandma. So, I was little tiger outfits. And, I mean, they were cute. Like, tails, paws, and everything, y'all. Like, because we were seeing Roar. 
Katy Perry roar, and we were singing, um, it was me and my friend. And it was pretty fun. Um, but I feel like I messed up or something, like, during the the show or something like that. But anyway, that girl who was supposed to be, like, my best friend that I wanted to be my best friend. After the show, she was, like, someone was, like, making fun of you. And so I, like, stood up for you, by the way. And I was, like, okay. Like, I don't know if that was, like, actually. It felt like she was trying to stand up for me. But it also, like, I don't know. Kind of felt like a backhanded compliment as well. Okay, so basically I'm pretty much done telling you guys about like my middle school, fourth grade experience. I mean, those two things, like getting rejected by my best friend and like him just like completely cutting me off and stuff like that. And then like um, the whole like lesbian thing, it just wasn't a good start for my career in middle school. Like, um... I just wasn't, like, a very popular person. Because, like, the people I went to school with in 4th grade were the same people I went to school with. All the way through, like, 8th grade. So, you'd imagine, like, you remember me as, like, this girl who, like, was obsessed with your friend. And didn't know what a lesbian was. It's kind of, like, not a good first impression. So, anyway, I hope you guys liked the video some of my embarrassing stories um from middle school disasters you know just the very beginning though i don't even know if fourth grade counts as middle school but i'm gonna say like it does because i feel like third grade is when elementary school ends but i'm not for sure Okay, I hope you guys have an amazing day and enjoyed my eyebrows. I'll see you next time.